It's a billy. No. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boy, right, put him back. Look at these beauties. Come on, to the camera. Just have a look at this monster that Deandre just pulled out. Here you can see the worm in his mouth. Well done, give me a eye. Another beauty. I can not check the shoe on my waist. Check him, check him. Dabbala! Pichon! Je moet alleen brengen voor de foutie. Speel mooi met hem. Mooi goed zie. Speel mooi met hem. Ja. Goed zo. There you have it, last one for the day. Man, we've panel beated them. We just, it was insane. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Stick around, there are plenty to come. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, see you next time. And remember, shoot straight and fish hard. Cheers. Right, welcome back to the kitchen. We had a beautiful day out fishing. We pumped the fish. We caught probably 50 or 60. I had so much fun, what a fun day out with the children and the family and some friends. I'm in the kitchen at the moment. I did fillet the fish, as you can see. I filleted the fish out lovely. Um, yeah, stick around till at the end of the video. I've got a secret sauce that I do put these fish in before I start cooking them to get, you know, the dan or the muddy smell out of them. So yeah, let's, let's get cooking. What we're going to be doing today is fish cakes i've got a nice fish cake recipe i work from but just look at that beautiful piece of meat fresh 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 and lovely all right so i'll be putting them cooking them first i did 
put some some oil in the pan as well, just for them not to stick. So uh, yeah, let's get to cooking. We just want to cook them. They um, they have to be cooked right through, and then we'll start throwing the rest together, making the beautiful cakes. Right, so there we have it. This is exactly the consistency that we need of the fish. They break apart. Just look at that. That's exactly what we need for making these fish cakes. So I'll just be taking this guys out. Right, so I'm going to basically just break them apart. I just decided to take some carrots. As I said, I like going with the flow, making some new things up. Um, so I'm just going to mash these. I'm going to mash them quickly down. Right, so <clears throat> potatoes are done. I did um, cook them, as I said, I cooked them nice and soft and I put the mash through them so they are looking really well and it's one cup of um, potatoes and about a half a cup of carrots and that Okay, so basically we'll do that and then we'll just mix it all together. Alright, so if we have that consistency and you've mixed them all together, then you can put in just some butter. It's about a spoon, 12.5 milliliters. I'll just put the butter in over. You can use margarine. Again, anything, whatever you have. Then there's some uh, pre-chopped. Um, I just put them in the machine. Find them up. Onions. That's also. Uh, you can. You're gonna work on about one, one onion, and then I've got parsley. Just some fresh parsley that I'll be putting over. Oh man, look at that. But as I said, there's a link in the description showing all exactly the ingredients that I have in here. Nice and simple, nice and easy. It's really fun and it really tastes good in the day. So that will just get mixed all together. You just whisk, whisk the egg down and then Till, it's, till it looks something like that, put that over and that will create this whole lovely beautiful contraption to stick nice together and then I also have about a teaspoon of salt that you can put over, salt and a pepper, depending on your spice you can put fish spice or whatever type of spice you're probably surprised I'm not putting in aromat. <laughs> you just lay a nice bed of breadcrumbs like that. Take your fish, your whole mix, then you can make a nice ball, something like that. Look at that consistency. Okay, then you put it on your breadcrumb, give it a nice squeeze flip it over and pops your uncle right so I'm going to put that one in in the pan So I did tell you if you watch till the end of the video, I'll give you the recipe. Um, what I do after I fillet the fish, I put it in the deep in the fridge um, with some normal vinegar, just normal plain white vinegar. You can use the brown vinegar, but it does make a bit of a color change onto your um, meat of the fish, which I don't like too much. And then you put a tot. Um, basically a teaspoon of 
apple cider vinegar and then I also put a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar on and then I just fill it up with some water put it in the fridge for about four hours and that does really work it does remove a lot of the damn smell or taste as people say like a venison which has the gamey taste so guys just have a look at this fantastic it took me a couple of minutes to put everything together yeah so I've got some hot sauce I've got some sweet chili sauce and then I've also got like a curry um, cabbage I don't know if you've ever heard about that but just look at that guy so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon on um, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon over and then I'm definitely gonna have a taste quickly and then the rest I'll be taking to the children because I can guarantee you they're gonna lick their fingers off All right so let's quickly try this guy oh just look at the consistency on the inside nice golden on the outside man what fantastic so i'm going to put some some of this coal on carry and then um yeah see how it tastes Ooh, it's falling apart mm. man mm. phenomenal so yeah, phenomenal. I can't, I can't tell you. It's really. I've been doing these videos for a couple of months now. Um, it's just been a, a life-changing um, a moment for me as well. Doing all these, um, you know, fun things with my family and my children, hunting and fishing and teaching them. It just really, we are so privileged. So guys, thank you for watching thank you for taking the time i really honestly appreciate that right so guys please don't forget to subscribe smash the like button if you enjoyed this video there are all of the links um in my channel there are different videos as well and remember shoot straight and fish hard cheers